A day after Sriwijaya Air Flight 182 crashed off the coast of Jakarta, Indonesian search and rescue teams said they have pulled body parts, pieces of clothing and metal out of the Java Sea. Authorities have now picked up a signal that could help pinpoint the wreckage of the Boeing 737-500 that had 62 people on board. At the crisis centre set up at Jakarta Airport, families await news of their loved ones. Saya minta cari, tolong cari manifest, manifest, manifest. Pas saya lihat ada nama keluarga itu, lima orang, cuman hanya bisa nangis doang, udah nggak bisa ngapa-ngapain lagi. The plane was en route to Pontianak in Indonesian Borneo when flight tracking data shows it plunged into a steep dive just minutes after takeoff from Jakarta's Sokarno Hatta International Airport. Swirajaya Air's chief executive has apologized for the incident, adding that the 26-year-old Boeing 737-500 appeared to be in good condition. Informasi yang saya peroleh juga bahwa kondisi pesawat dalam keadaan sehat, karena sebelumnya juga sudah terbang ke ke Pontianak PP, kemudian ke Pangkal Pinang baru ini rute kedua ke Pontianaknya. Jadi harusnya tidak ada masalah ya. Dan dari laporan Menten juga semuanya lancar. It's not the first time Boeing has been involved in an air crash in Indonesia. In 2018, a different model, the 737 MAX, also crashed off Jakarta, killing all 189 people on board the Lion Air flight. That crash and a subsequent fatal 737 MAX flight in Ethiopia saw Boeing hit with $2.5 billion in fines and led to the global grounding of the 737 MAX for a year and a half.